Oh my god, that's so right. <laughs> Hello my loves, how are you? I hope you're having a lovely day today. Today I decided to go to dance a little bit early so I could finally record my stretch routine because you guys have been asking me for ages and I've never had time so I've decided to put some time aside so I can finally show you guys how I gain some flexibility. Mainly legs and back stretches. I did promise an all body one including like necks and shoulders and everything but the one I used to mainly do was a uh, legs and back so that's what I was going to be focusing on today. As a little disclaimer I've got to say I am not a qualified dancer or personal trainer or anything like that. All of these stretches I used to do self-taught and basically just do them at your own risk and don't sue me please. It does take a long time for stretches and to become flexible so don't expect anything to happen straight away and thanks cars and don't be too disheartened if you don't get things as quick as you thought you would but these stretches i learned from youtube videos which i'll link down below if i remember i'll try to and also the kbm talent stretch app apologies about my mic and camera the lighting in my last video was atrocious and my microphone is broken so we're gonna have to deal with the tinny sounding voice <laughs> warmed up so I'm going to start stretching now. For all of these stretches I'd say hold them for between 30 seconds to 2 minutes. It varies because you obviously build up flexibility and things get easier so you have to hold them for longer. The first stretch I'm going to do is a V hamstring stretch and it stretches all the way back here. You should always be trying to keep the back of your knees straight here. The next one I'm going to do is a butterfly stretch. Bring your legs down into this position and obviously straight away you probably won't be on the floor. So you can just sit there and like feel your legs like that. And I just push my legs down. To get an even deeper stretch you can put your nose to your feet or you could put it to the floor depending on how flexible your hips are. The next one is a seated forward pike. So you sit down with your legs directly in front of you, you can point your toes, you can flex them. You're going to go up and lift and go over and hold. Next one always really helped me, um, it's the half split. So you're going to sit with one foot directly in front like a pike and then this foot in like an attitude position. And you're going to do the same thing here and just reach over. And always make sure to do both sides because you want to have even flexibility on both of your legs. The next one is a straddle stretch. So you could warm up your straddle by leaning over. You could also lean over to the side, keeping your body square to the front. So when you reach down, you might just be able to start by putting your hands on the floor, eventually keeping your elbows and then your stomach. And to make this stretch more advanced, you could put a phone block like this under one of your feet. And I used to do that on both sides and then I'd build up the height until I was able to do it with one foot on a chair. This next stretch is a back stretch and it's called the seal. Put your body on the floor and just lift up. Obviously you may not be able to get up all the way straight away, but just keep stretching until you move further and further back. To make this more advanced, I used to hold ankle weights when I did it so my back would go further back. Another thing that's good is like this side stretch. A lot of people will maybe just be like here, but eventually if you stretch enough, you can get down so you can touch the floor. And then do that on both sides, obviously, too. These next ones are a little more advanced. Um, they tend to 
really help you stretch like to get your splits and everything. So the first is a ponche stretch and you probably need a wall or something like that. I used to always do all these exercises with ankle weights on because it makes it more difficult. Your leg up and obviously get closer and closer to the wall. So you can move your foot a bit more forward and then do the same. And then I'll repeat on the other side, my crazy hair. And make sure with your ponches that you keep your hips square. Don't twist your legs so it's off at an angle. This next one, I cannot express how much it helped me. It was really good for opening up my hips to get my little splits. And it's quite similar to little splits. You have one leg out at the side and this leg stays bent and you go down and it's like a half middle split. So my foot back here is in like a 90 degree-ish angle. Getting more flexible, you can start pushing it out more and more. And then I repeat that on the other side, obviously too. The next one is a bridge. Go to lie down on your, on your back, sorry. Put your hands inverted either side of your head and push up and try and straighten your legs as much as possible. And then to get a deeper stretch, you could walk your legs in. Head rush. The next thing I used to do was hold the splits, so I'd slide down further and further each day until I got my splits. And when that became too easy, you could get another little friend block and use that until I was able to do it on a chair. And for a deeper stretch, you can lean back. The next thing is the middle splits. You're going to go up so you hands are taking the majority of your weight and you're going to go down into the splits and just hold that. Another stretch I found very useful was lying on your back with your leg in the air and you just hold that and like always, <laughs> I do it on both sides too. So yeah, there are more basic stretches that you can try. Let me know if any of these helped you. And when you put your mind to it, you can really get flexible. And then you can do more extensive movements like leg hold turns and front aerials and things like that. Yeah. Any other suggestions for what you want me to do, then don't be afraid to leave them below and if you have any questions about the stretches and of course leave them below as well but like I said I'm not a trained professional so uh...